Exodus 14 is one of the most amazing scenes in all of scripture. This is where we see God's deliverance of his people at the Red Sea. Now, this morning, I'd like to read a lot of this to you. So listen as I share with you from Exodus 14 about the greatness and the grandeur of our God. We, we learn that the people of Israel are freaked out because they see the Egyptians chasing them. But look at what God does, starting in verse 19. The angel of God, who had been leading the people of Israel, moved to the rear of the camp. The pillar of cloud moved also from the front and stood behind them. The cloud settled between the Egyptians and the Israelite camps. As darkness fell, the cloud turned to fire, lighting up the night. But the Egyptians and the Israelites did not approach each other all night. Then Moses raised his hand over the sea and the Lord opened up a path through the water with a strong east wind. The wind blew all night, turning the seabed into dry land. So the people of Israel walked through the middle of the sea on dry ground with walls of water on each side. Then it says in verse 23, the Egyptians, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and charioteers chased them into the middle of the sea. But just before dawn, the Lord looked down on the Egyptian army from the pillar of fire and cloud and he threw their forces into total confusion. He twisted their chariot wheels, making their chariots difficult to drive. Let's get out of here, away from these Israelites, the Egyptians shouted. The Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Verse 26, when all the Israelites had reached the other side, the Lord said to Moses, raise your hand over the sea again, then the waters will rush back and cover the Egyptians in their chariots and charioteers. So as the sun began to rise, Moses raised his hand over the sea and the water rushed back into its usual place. The Egyptians tried to escape, but the Lord swept them into the sea. Then the waters returned and covered all the chariots and charioteers, the entire army of Pharaoh, all of the Egyptians who had chased the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one survived. But the people of Israel, had walked through the middle of the sea on dry ground as the waters stood up like a wall on both sides. And that is how the Lord rescued Israel from the hand of the Egyptians that day. And the Israelites saw the bodies of the Egyptians washed up on the seashore. When the people of Israel saw the mighty power that the Lord had unleashed against the Egyptians, they were filled with awe before him. They put their faith in the Lord and in his servant, Moses. This is an amazing crescendo of this story of God bringing his people out of slavery, out of bondage in Egypt to a place where they're now free. And friends, I just wanna encourage you. That's who God is. He's one who brings deliverance and freedom. We find our deliverance in our freedom in Christ. It's in him that we're free from sin. It's in him that we're free to enjoy life forevermore, both in eternity and a life of fruitfulness here and now. So today as you read this chapter, be encouraged by the power of our God and live for him in awe, for he truly is God, the one who can part the waters of whatever's before you.